Hey there everybody, Pop on Top here. Welcome back to some more Fallout 4 mods. In today's mod, we got a weapon mod here. This is the Industrial Electromagnetic Driver, which is an anti-material Gauss rifle, according to the game's also like parentheses description of the weapon. This mod, lore-wise, is, is like a construction tool. Like you could do all kinds of things with this weapon. You could bore holes with it, you could do all kinds of things. They say like this is the prerequisite to the prototype Gauss rifle, which became the military Gauss rifle, right? So Obviously, it's a Gauss rifle, right? It shoots 2mm electromagnetic cartridges, the 2mm EC ammo, just like the Gauss rifle does. But by default here, it has a cranking mechanism like the, the laser musket. So you can crank it twice, and then shoot Gauss, right? The fact that it cranks and shoots is kind of an interesting mechanic. I like the combination of the two things here. Now, this weapon is unique, as you like can find it out in the world, generally. Um, usually off the rust devils if you don't know who the rust devils are they're from the automaton dlc they're like robot raiders um but you can also find it off regular raiders and so on and so forth and, and there's a couple unique locations you can find it from um just in the base game just finding it earlier on in the game um i'm looking at my phone here because there's a lot of things to look at here like there's it's, there's dumb witch borers uh, the quincy quarries thicket activations after you pull the plug and then you like so like the water's all draining and the raiders are in there um then you can, they, they all carry this weapon, so there's a guaranteed ways to get the weapon, and then obviously you just gotta follow one of those. So this weapon also has a lot of attachments that we don't have access to. We have a lot of access to a lot off rip here, so let's take a look at these. Obviously, I want to mention the gun does look kind of amazing. Um, it just looks like a big chunking piece of shit. It does. It's supposed to be a tool, right? And it is a big tool that will obviously kill the hell out of anybody, right? 211 damage by default. Fire rate of seven is kind of relevant. Um, depending on what you want to think about here. That magazine is flickering for me, though. That's doing some weird stuff. Some of the lighting is doing some weird stuff, obviously because of the lightning and stuff, right, in the gun. You can see, like, all the charged-up capacity and stuff. It does look very cool. Very much, like, a, like, it does look like a tool, but also like a gun. It drills holes. We drills holes with, like, <laughs> could you imagine? you just drilling a hole with this thing. Anyway, so we have, like, all the way boosted, maximized, overcharge, right? We want to obviously overcharge it. We want a long barrel, which very much is starting to look more like a rifle. Um, recoil compensating stock. You get, like, you get enough attachments here. Improved capacitor. Obviously, you get all the sights and stuff here. Night vision scopes, recon scopes, all the things, right? Um, improved sights. Red dot sights. Or reflex sights, I guess, if you want to call them. Stand two times two times standard scope is kind of a weird thing. Um, let's put that on there for now. And you can do extended fusion cells. It's almost like... It almost adds 100 more damage. It says reduces reload speed. Um, doesn't reload, though. It cranks, so... I don't, unless it doesn't crank now. Um, I'm assuming it still cranks. We can suppress it if you want to. You could put some kind of big old meaty suppressor. That does reduce damage, though, which is, you know, maybe worth it or not for you. And then there's a folded bipod here, which we currently have on there. It helps reduce the recoil, apparently. Um, I don't know if recoil is going to be too much of a thing that you feel with this. And then, obviously, there's an erect bipod, which makes me giggle a little bit on the inside just because of the word erect. But I think no bipod is going to be the way that I go because it's already getting really heavy, like 35 fucking pound weapon. Um, we're also going to take the carry handle off, even though it's only 0.4 pounds, and it also, once again, says it reduces recoil. It's just really in the way. You can see that shit when I was aiming it, right? Obviously, with the scope, it's not going to be so relevant, but still, it's just humongous. I don't need it. I get it off there. Get it off my gun. So this is our new and improved max out, currently as it stands, rifle. I can charge it three times now. And it is slow, though. You're cranking that slower, that, that, it, that reduced reload speed. So you're trading damage for the fact... You know, you can want more damage or you want to crank it real fast. Depends, right? I think a situation, like, two-time scope is kind of such a weird fucking thing, too, though. Like, it just doesn't, like, it feels like it's a humongous scope on my gun, but it, like, barely zooms. <laughs> two-time zoom is not a lot of zoom. Um, but you can obviously do all the other things with it, too, right? You can, there's so many things. Like, you could just, six times, ten times scope, you can go really far. The ten times scope is obviously going to be stupid. You could definitely, and then the suppressor, and it doesn't matter how long it charges because you're just popping off sneak attack criticals. Now, these are just the default attachments and stuff, right? Long standard barrel, standard barrel. This is what they all say, kind of say, sound standard and stuff. There's lots of attachments to get, but you, to get them, you have to go out in the world and find them, right? Find different magazines. So you can, like, craft a weapon for yourself if you go to the... You can get the H&H &H Tools Manual, which is at the Fort Hagen Satellite Array, right? Well, I don't think we need to craft the weapon for ourselves because we already have it, but I'm just letting you know. These are all in the mod description. So there's a supercharger and equalizer capacity... Or capacitor, a supercharger and equalized capacitor at the capsize factory. So I guess we'll head there next and I will see you when we get there if I find it. 
All right, everybody, we are here out in the glowing sea, right? There's a capsized factory kind of out in the middle of this shit. You'll find it if you know, right? Like, if you don't know, I mean, I guess I'll show you some. There's the Atlantic offices. There's a cave. The Federal Supply Cache over there, right? And there's the Crater of Atoms. So it's like, you know, in here. Um, hopefully, this is not too difficult to find. We'll see how well that is. I also figured I was going to wait till I found it, but I was also going to show off the weapon in combat while I was doing it. So maybe we'll run into some things here. Something is making noises. I hear footsteppers. It's got footsteppers. Ghouls. Of course it's ghouls. I mean, what else would have footsteppers out here that sound like human footsteppers besides ghouls? So obviously, bass accuracy is going to be crazy with this thing. Um, we are in danger, and ghouls is one of the situations where you might actually be concerned that the weapon cranks slowly. Did I not one-shot that man? If I crank it three times, ten times scope. I mean, it is, it's going to annihilate people in one shot, but at the same time, these ghouls are coming quick, and if I miss my shot like that... That hit him. Like, it, it gave me a hit marker. It just didn't do it. I mean, you could crank it once, probably. Do it like that. Because you really don't need the three cranks. It's wasting ammo, right? You're just wasting shots. One crank. One crank. Is it cranking it three times in bats? That's an interesting side effect. Does it crank it three times in bats? That legendary mutated. It, it fucking, the fact that it even tanked a shot and got the opportunity to mutate. Does it crank it once or three times? That looked like once. And it didn't even fucking die. Can you stop, ghoul? It does function, I would say, more similarly to the laser. Like, it's a really powerful laser musket. It's more like a Goss laser musket. I'm not even picking up the poisoners fucking thing. Fuck off with that. Um, but it does function more like a Goss laser musket than I would say, like, like in terms of function with ghouls. The one was not enough there. And you can crank out two pretty quick. I cannot believe I missed. You can, it's still pretty quick. I still think this is a perfectly fine speed. I think I blew up a fire extinguisher there. I'm just really here for a magazine that's going to give me more capacitors and stuff, right? Ghouls? Ghouls, you understand? Where did you put the magazine? <laughs> I think it's a magazine anyway. I'm not sure exactly sure. That's This is my first time looking for these attachments. And there's a lot of them, you guys. This might, video might get a little long. I'm not going to show off the intricate details of every one here. That was a sneak attack critical. That was unnecessary though. That ghoul was not having a good time regardless. So you're cranking it one time. I believe that's how laser muskets function too. And I obviously have the 10 times scope, which is not doing me any favors in this close proximity range of shit. Um, but it is what it is. Okay, there's the H&H manual supercharged EM drivers. It's like a book. You can now build superchargers and fourth level inductors for electromagnetic drivers. It's an H&H &H tools manual. The, the manual is obviously not a very high texture quality. I don't think that manual matters very much. But you, you see that example there of like how you can go in here and find these things. I believe I can fast travel out of here. All right? So let's take a look at these attachments um, that we got here. And then I'll show off some more when I get to them, right? Like as we, as we go. I'll, I'll go find the magazine, kind of show you where the book is at or whatever, right? And then like see what the attachments do in, at a baseline level here. So now... We got supercharged, right? So that's what we, we we were getting there. So we can go here. So now we can go equalized inductor. So do we do even more damage, epic damage. That's probably a good one to get pretty early. And then what would the the supercharger capacitor? So the fire rate gets even lower, like the crank speed, but you're like doubling damage almost. That's fucking 800. That's so much exceptional damage and armor penetration. Deal splash damage can knock down targets. That is crazy. I'm also going to take the, the long scope off in there. Just put that in push side. I don't, I don't really care. I don't really care. So. Yeah, that takes a long... You have to crank that thing so many times to get one... And you get one shot. But it does splash damage. So it's essentially become like an explosive weapon now. But it does take an extremely long time to reload. That's like this humongous difference. It, it says it's going from 5 to 3. But it's really like going from like... Takes like... Half a second to crank one time, you can get one shot off too. I gotta crank it five times to get one shot off, but this one shot should be an extreme amount of damage. So, I'm gonna take a look at my list here. Uh, if I can pull up, I took it like I took a photo on my phone of, of the the mod description. That's how that you know works sometimes. So the recycling, Adam's Cat's Garage. I guess we're going to the Adam's Cat's Garage. I'll see you guys there. Real easy one to find, right in the Adam Cat's Garage. I just kind of came right in here. The H and H Tools Manual, rapid fire them up drivers. You can have both automatic capacitors and elect for electromagnetic drivers. So that's kind of a unique thing. Um, very cool. So I guess we'll go craft that real quick. I'll show that off. Seagulls. I want to find just one thing, though, to shoot with this fucking real quick. This fucking big, dynamic explosion one. Because obviously, I think the automatic receiver is going to be slightly different. Hello, water. Myrlurks. 
Something? I was really hoping for something. No, nothing out here. Usually there's Myalux out here, right? Look at the look how fucking chonky the boy is in third person though. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that one shot loaded I do. I just want to make sure, because I don't want to get in this combat and have to The crank is obviously the crank speed of this one is obviously not the most effective. Automatic sounds crazy though. Where where's where's somebody at? Hello? You a bad man? You There's people walking around. Oh shit, somebody's killing something. Now you you guys they just fucking died. This is gonna die though. That was good. That's what I was looking for there. Obviously, extremely long Craig time. What are these guys? They just walked right into that gutsy, and the gutsy just fucking ruined their whole day. Okay, automatic receivers are fucking whatever we got from the Adam Cats garage. We'll see you guys in a second. So I'm trying to figure this out here as I'm looking at these things, right? So like, and I'm trying to look at the description of the mod at the same time. So like, we're supposed to have. Like a recycling mode or something? I see this overcharged magnetic modulator, um, which I don't think was there before. The barrels are still the same. Like, the fact that you build these attachments up, well, oh, there's a recycling capacitor. Automatic fire mode. So you put that on there, we get to fire full auto. And also a gated capacitor. This is not necessarily listed on there. Um, the gated capacitor, so you can have semi-auto or automatic. I want to see what the automatic is, though, because I'm also a lazy piece of shit. I've said this in previous videos, but like 12 rounds. That's kind of interesting, right? You just start cranking it, boom, 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 crank it back. So it's so unique and interesting. That's a cool little. I really like how the weapon glows and stuff too. This is very fucking cool gun. Okay, I want to put that out there. There's a thing like I just turned my flashlight off so you can see the like the lightning glow of this fucking gun. Oh my god, it's a good, it's a cool gun. Like it's very cool that we're building up attachments in these little ways and stuff too. I really like that you got to find them out in the world. We have an improved suppressor at the Boston Library. We might this, we might give, you know, we might take a look at that one. I mean. I guess we'll go there real quick. We might get a couple on the way, though. So I'm going to go to the Boston Library, and we'll see you guys when we get there. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this format of the video, too, though. Instead of just, like, going out and getting all the attachments, just showing off, like, the best version of the weapon. I really like doing it piecemeal like this. I really like the way that this mod is designed. I really like finding books to get attachments, right? Like, that's really fucking cool. I really like that design. I'll see you guys where it's at the library. I'm struggling to find the book here a little bit in the library, you guys. But I, I do have, you know, the combat going on here. This is my first time with this character and being in the library. So there's all this robots and shit and obviously we got the full automatic receiver to show off here obviously that's kind of crazy <laughs> not as crazy as the big explosions one necessarily there's an overdue book there's so many books in the fucking library too like i've been really struggling to find the one that i'm looking for yeah okay how'd that work out for you shoot me with a fucking minigun piece of shit hey the security breach is neutralized but yeah, so obviously that's just showing off. I not, might not be able to find this one. I thought it was going to be back here by the intelligence bobblehead, but it was not. So I have no idea where it's at. And this is a humongous building. And like I said, it's just for an improved suppressor, which just doesn't sound that exciting of an attachment unless it does something crazy. And I, I really, you know, I'm struggling here a little bit because I know I'm, I'm into all this stuff. Is it in the overdue book machine? Is that like you added it to that? You get a, a token? No. Okay. I was like, that would be tough. Like, I'm making sure, like... Because that would be tough. <laughs> like, I was like, oh, fuck, I don't want to turn it over to books to unlock a, a book for an attachment. It's got to be somewhere here, right? Like, Because they said it is. And the other ones have been pretty good so far, which is good. And that's a good news that these things are working. And I'm, sure, I'm not saying this thing is not here. What I am saying is I don't have the patience to find it. And if you're going to complain to me in the video, too, I swear to God. I, I mean, I won't really do anything. I guess I, was, I thought about that. I thought about that, and I was like, am I going to do something about it? No. But, you know, there's a book here, somewhere, that will allow you to teach the or teach you to how to make the improved suppressor. I'm not worrying about it too much. We're just going to head to the next one, I think. Um, just because I can't find it off rip. Like, it's just like I'm not going to spend, like, two hours making this video, and most of it's just looking for a fucking book in a, a library fucking full of books, right? But, you know, like I said, I'm sure it is here. We'll go to the next one, and I'll see you guys when we get there. Hey, look, you guys, an easier book. This is the Electrified EM Drivers. Yeah. Static Disruptors for Electromagnetic Drivers. Sick. This is in Watts Electronic. Pretty centralized location of the map, right? It's, it's the Cambridge Crater, uh, the the Bathful <laughs> Regional Office, Memorial Bridge, right? There's all kinds of things there. We're going to go test it. We're going to go put these, slap these attachments on there, and I'll see you guys when we get there. 
Static Disruptor. That's what we unlocked here, okay? The S is as electrical damage. We get a boosted Static Disruptor too. So maximize Static so Overcharge Static. It's like a so, so overcharge Static disruptor, disruptor. This adds exceptional damage, adds electrical damage that can paralyze organic targets or reduce perception of mechanical targets. Deals an extra 40% damage to mechanical targets. So we are losing damage off of that, but it is like a robot killing one. That's kind of cool, right? I think Equalize is still the way you'd want to go. And I'm like, you know, as much as the... You know, full auto is kind of cool. Put the semi-auto on. It is, you know, so that's something you can't unlock. Obviously, semi-auto gets eight rounds here. This is just the best version. I mean, obviously, we're going to get a really long reload still, but, like, to be able to spam shots out. So, I believe the next one we got to go to is in Big John Salvage, the magnetic modulator. We have so many left, so we're, like, about halfway. You guys, have got to be in for a long video. I know I'm cutting out a lot of stuff here, but I'm spending a lot of time doing this, so... Big John Salvage it is. I'll see you guys when we get there. <laughs> Alright, everybody. A quick little update on where we're at here. I did not find um, the one at Big John Salvage. There's a couple left that I have here that I want to get. There's one here at the DP Technical High School. Obviously, that radar has a problem. We have the semi-auto receiver on now, so we're kind of overpowered. Especially in VATS, because it's just the... That, that slight increase in fire rate and not being due to the little crank animation makes a huge difference in terms of its fire rate. But I'm going to find the one in DB Technical High School because, um, let me look here at my little picture real quick. Um, we have what's going to be called the Volley Barrels, which just sounds really interesting. And then we're going to get the Fusion Core Generator at the Corvega Assembly Plant. There's a couple other in there, like Improved Marksman Stock at the Old Corner Bookstore and stuff that we're not going to get shielded barrels and stuff. Um, I'll leave some of those for you to find on your own because the video is probably pretty long as it is. I don't know how long it is. I've just been recording a long time. Um, but we'll find a couple more here, okay? And I will see you guys when I get to the magazine book thing. Look, you guys, I finally found one up here. Up here in the, the General Atomics... Fusion core generator. That's what we got there. Okay, that's very cool. Still very cool. Still a very cool gun. I'm just... I didn't find the one at the DB Technical High School. I'm just, like, struggling a little bit to find some of these. Obviously, it's a very functional gun. That That is amazing. Uh, we could just leave right here. Um, we've unlocked the fusion core receiver. Obviously, I didn't show off every single possible option here, but I've, I think <clears throat> for the size of this model, which is, you know, approximately 14 megabytes, I want to point out. It's like a 14 point something megabyte mod. It's an amazing gun. Obviously, because it uses a combination of vanilla assets to a certain degree. It's a combination Gauss rifle. But, like, the attachment variety here, and obviously the, the time investment to find all these things is quite extreme. It took me a long time to find the ones I did fucking find as it is. So, we have Gauss. So, long barrel still. Like, there's a whole stock we didn't get, right? Like, technically the supercharger is really the way to go, I think. Just to maximize that single shot damage. Fusion core generator. So... Increase fire rate, reload speed, and capacity, reduce damage. So, it's still got one shot, but that did crank a lot faster because we're using a fusion core every time. Is that the deal? It's hard for me to tell if we're loading a fusion core in. And if we're doing loading a fusion core in, does that charge it faster because you crank it faster? Isn't the crank? I don't know. The point is, it's a wonderful gun. It's a wonderful Goss rifle, you know, laser musket kind of hybrid gun. With, with a huge amount of attachments to find. Like I said, we only showed off about half of the locations for them. Some of them I can't find. I'm really bad. My perception score is really low in real life. So I can't necessarily find all these things. I'm not sure exactly how long this video is going to be as it is anyway. I've made a lot of cuts and done all those things. But like, I've spent well over an hour making this thing. And it's a good gun. It is a wonderful gun. It has a really cool look to it. Um, obviously it looks like a tool. The machine gun turret. I was looking for the iBot that's talking. I hate this fucking iBot. I'll fucking nuke those motherfuckers every time I see them. Plus, I just like to shoot the gun. Yeah, it's super duper dead. I guess what we'll do here one more time, just for just for the good luck before the video is done, we'll do a quick death cloud test. Reload this thing. I miss because I'm awful. No, stop. Yeah, dog me. That's right. I killed the shit out of that Deathclaw. He went flying. It's a fun gun, right? It's a fun little combination gun. Not a huge foul size. And I promise you guys, I'll be spending a lot of time trying to find all these attachments. Unless maybe you have a higher perception score than me in real life. And then you'll be able to find them just fine. But it is still a wonderful gun. We obviously shown off different varieties of combat, all different kinds of attachments and stuff. Even if you don't want to go try to find attachments, I think what you get from the base weapon, just having the weapon gives you lots of attachment variety. But then you get some crazier shit. I only really want to know what those volley barrel is. I just fucking looked up DB Technical High School. I looked at the whole fucking thing. I got the mask I had. I mean, you guys can see, right? I was out here. 
the mascot head's there, right? Like, I did the things. I looked everywhere. I've completed DB Technical High School, right? My face is doing some weird shit. But, like, I've done all those things. <laughs> I did uh, all those things. Try to find all the attachments for this gun. And my game crashed. I've dealt with all kinds of things along the way, okay? But this is a wonderful gun that does very cool things. I just wish it was easier to find the attachments for people who are dumb like me. But other than that, I do like the feature of finding the attachments. I just wish that, like... It's like, oh, find a book in the library with all the other fucking books. Like, <laughs> it was like, if it was clear about where those attachments were in those locations. If you, like, if you don't want to look it up, then you can find it for yourself the hard way. If you do want to look it up, like, just like include like pictures of like the locations of all the books. So this gives you like a clue or something, because I'm just really bad at finding them. Um, you guys, let me know if I'm missing out on any cool attachments. If you do download this mod for yourselves and then you check it out and you're like, oh, dude, the volley barrel is the best. So you should like, this is where it's at in DB Technical High School. And then maybe I'll check it out on my own time. You should check out this mod though. It's a good mod. This this uh, industrial electromagnetic driver, which is an anti-material gas rifle. What a name! It does fucking wonderful things. It's a very powerful gun that you do all kinds of crazy shit with. With this huge amount of attachment variety that actually changes how the weapon functions. But the the base concept of like like a crank powered gas rifle that was used as a tool, but now being used as a very super powerful weapon, is a fucking fun time. And you guys should check out this mod for yourselves. If you want to check out the mod for yourselves, make sure to check out the top link in the description. There'll be linked there to the Bethesda.net page or the Nexus mod page. So you can download this mod for yourselves there. If you guys have enjoyed the video, like the video. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. You can also hit that bell so that way you get notified every time I upload a video. That'd be cool, I think. I think that's what YouTubers are supposed to tell people. And yeah, pretty much other than that, though, you guys have a good rest of your day, whatever it may be, and I will see you in the next episode.